Amantadine is used to treat Parkinson's disease and side effects caused by drugs, chemicals, and other medical conditions. It may help improve your range of motion and ability to exercise. It is also used to prevent or treat a certain type of flu, influenza A. If you have been infected with the flu, this medication may help make your symptoms less severe and shorten the time it will take you to get better. Taking amantadine if you have been or will be exposed to the flu may help prevent you from getting the flu. This medication is an antiviral that is believed to work by stopping the growth of the flu virus. It is important to get a flu shot once a year at the beginning of every flu season to increase the chance that you will not get the flu. The Centers for Disease Control, CDC, in the U.S. recommends that amantadine should not be used to treat or prevent influenza A because the current influenza A virus in the United States and Canada is resistant to this medication. When taking amantadine, it's important to follow your doctor's directions. Typically, it is taken once or twice a day, with or without food. If you have trouble sleeping after taking it twice a day, take the second dose several hours before bedtime. If you are using the liquid form, be sure to measure the dose accurately using a special measuring device slash spoon. Do not use a household spoon as it may not give you the correct dose. The dosage will depend on your medical condition and how you respond to the therapy. For children, the dosage is also based on their body weight. It's important not to take more than prescribed by your doctor. For the best results, it's important to keep the amount of medicine in your body at a constant level. So, take this medication at evenly spaced intervals throughout the day and night. If you are taking amantadine for a viral infection, start taking it as soon as possible and continue until the full prescribed amount is finished, even if your symptoms disappear after a few days. Stopping the medication too early may result in a return of the infection. In Parkinson's disease, it may take several weeks to notice the effects of the medication. It's important not to suddenly stop taking it, as symptoms or side effects may worsen. Your doctor may want to gradually reduce your dose. Also, let your doctor know if the medication stops working well after several months. Some common side effects of amantadine may include blurred vision, nausea, stomach upset, drowsiness, dizziness, headache, dry mouth, constipation, nervousness, or trouble sleeping. To reduce the risk of dizziness and lightheadedness, get up slowly when rising from a sitting or lying position. Remember that this medication has been prescribed because your doctor has judged that the benefit to you is greater than the risk of side effects. Many people using this medication do not have serious side effects. However, tell your doctor right away if you experience purplish red blotchy spots on the skin, swelling of the ankles slash feet, difficulty urinating, vision changes, shortness of breath, mental slash mood changes, muscle stiffness, uncontrolled muscle movements, unusual sweating, fast heartbeat, unexplained fever, or unusual strong urges. In some cases, people taking amantadine have fallen asleep suddenly during their usual daily activities. If you experience increased sleepiness or fall asleep during the day, do not drive or take part in other possibly dangerous activities until you have discussed this effect with your doctor. Your risk of this sleep effect is increased by using alcohol or other medications that can make you drowsy. A very serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare. However, get medical help right away if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, including rash, itching slash swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects. If you notice other effects not listed above, contact your doctor or pharmacist. Before taking amantadine, it's important to let your doctor or pharmacist know if you're allergic to it, romantadine, or if you have any other allergies. This medication may also contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions or other problems, so it's best to talk to your pharmacist for more details. Before using this medication, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist about your medical history, especially if you have conditions such as glaucoma, swelling of arms legs, heart problems, blood pressure issues, kidney disease, liver disease, mental-slash-mood conditions, seizures, or a certain skin condition. It's important to note that amantadine may cause dizziness, drowsiness, or blurred vision. Using alcohol or marijuana can intensify these effects, so it's best to avoid driving, using machinery, or any activities requiring alertness or clear vision until you can do them safely. Limiting alcoholic beverages is also recommended. If you are using marijuana, it's important to talk to your doctor about it. 
If you are taking amantadine for Parkinson's disease, be cautious not to overdo physical activity as your condition improves, as this may increase your risk of falls. It's best to consult your doctor about a plan to gradually increase your physical activity as your symptoms improve. Older adults may be at a greater risk for side effects while taking this drug. During pregnancy, this medication should only be used when clearly needed, so it's important to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. This drug also passes into breast milk and may have undesirable effects on a nursing infant, so it's important to consult with your doctor before breastfeeding. When taking amantadine, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that could affect how your medications work or increase the risk of serious side effects. This medication may also interfere with the effectiveness of certain vaccines, such as the flu vaccine that is inhaled through the nose. However, if recommended by your doctor, you can still receive the flu shot through injection. Be sure to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription-slash-non-prescription drugs and herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. And as always, do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. If someone has taken too much amantadine and is experiencing severe symptoms such as passing out or difficulty breathing, it is important to seek immediate medical help by calling 911 or contacting a poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include fast or irregular heartbeats, severe drowsiness, shortness of breath, changes in the amount of urine, and mental-slash-mood changes such as anxiety, aggression, confusion, or hallucinations. If you suspect an overdose, it is crucial to seek medical attention right away. This medication is used to treat Parkinson's disease and conditions similar to Parkinson's disease. It is also used to prevent and treat influenza A, a viral infection. If you forget to take a dose of amantadine, take it as soon as you remember. However, if it's close to the time for your next dose, just skip the missed dose and take the next one at your regular time. It's important not to take a double dose to make up for the missed one. When storing amantadine, make sure to keep it at room temperature and away from light and moisture. It's important to keep it out of the bathroom and away from children and pets. When you no longer need the medication or it's expired, be sure to properly discard it. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for the best way to do this. Avoid flushing it down the toilet or pouring it into a drain unless instructed to do so. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.